Hi, I'm Bill with Molly. Welcome to Chapter 4 in our ongoing series about all you ever wanted to know about piston rings. Today we're going to talk about the modern design compression rings that most of you have on your car. Matter of fact, here's a little Chevrolet cruise piston. It's a, a 1.8 liter engine, pretty small engine, but the design of the rings is going to be what I'm talking about to you today. And today what we have on most all late model engines is we have a top compression ring. And that top compression ring is what we call a radius, or some people refer to it as a barrel-faced ring. And all that means is if we were to look with a magnifier here real closely, the face of the ring that contacts the cylinder wall is cut in a radius like this. Now we have a very unique way of creating that radius at Molly, and it's very precise, but we actually have a radius or a barrel. You can see how they get the term barrel face top ring. That is on probably 90% of the new car and light truck engines produced today. And it is in about 90% of the aftermarket sets that will sell you from Molly. So very high tech design. Why is it so good? Well, let me explain to you the reason. And there are actually two of them. One is barrel faced rings that have that radius on almost instantaneous break in. By the time that engine's been run at the factory to test the sealing and all that stuff, you know, and get the car off the end of the line, the rings are broken in. So it's not like it was when I was a kid where people bought a new car and had to drive it a thousand miles, you know, and baby it to break the rings in. They're almost instantaneous break in with the radius face ring. The other is, it's a bit esoteric, I suppose, but if you understand engines, you realize as the piston comes up in the cylinder and reaches the top of the cylinder, it actually rocks slightly from one side to the other. Not nearly as much as I'm exaggerating here, but it rocks slightly back and forth. Well, when that happens, we change the position of the ring as it regarded to the cylinder wall. Well, with a radius face ring, I never lose contact. I may change the contact spot from one spot on that radius to another, but I never lose contact with the cylinder wall. And that's a big deal because at the top of the cylinder is where we make all our power. We don't want a ring losing contact with the cylinder. So that's the story on radius face top. The other new thing I wanted to talk to you about is Napier or hook groove. Some people refer to them as hook groove second rings. And we've got a nice close up here so you can see what I'm talking about. But essentially what we've got now is a relief on the outer face of the second ring. If you watched our first video and we talked about rings, we know that the second ring's job is 90% oil control. So by creating that hook or that relief on the outside face of that ring, it does a much better job scraping oil down off the cylinder wall. So radius face second rings, excuse me, Napier second rings are the ring of choice today. So again, if we were to pry the rings off this little piston or the piston in your late model vehicle, we would find a Napier second ring. So it's that simple, radius face top, Napier second rings are the choice in today's engines. Thanks for tuning in. Watch for Chapter 5 soon.